Hello everybody and welcome to today's snapshot which is 14W03A and today's snapshot brings some new features into the game and the first one I want to take a look at is uh, the no new rotation arguments in the teleport command and I tested it you can now teleport a player it took a while to figure me out as you can see and uh, add two more arguments in the end and if I write in 0, 0 here, I will te be teleported just normally, but if I put in a 0, 10 for example, I will look down a bit. If I put in a 100, uh, 100, 0, you can see that it turns me around, and this is pretty cool because now you can teleport player uh, not only depending on uh, the way that they look, you can also turn them around while teleporting and that's a great new feature. Also for the player selectors or entity selectors it's now possible to not only put in a radius for a command but you can also uh, select um, entities and players in a cubic area. How that works is that we um, now can put in a um, if we for example take the uh, at all players in the area x equals uh, 10 uh, y equals uh, 0 z equals 10 and then we can do a uh, dx equals uh, 20 so in the distance in the x direction between 10 and 20 then a dy equals 256 and a dz equals uh, 20 again then we would um, target all uh, players which are in a 10 by 10 area which goes from 10 to 20 in x and z direction and the complete column in the y direction and that is super awesome because I often tried to do this before and it's now possible. Also there's this new clone command and I haven't tried it yet but I just typed in uh, slash clone and uh, you can see that it gives me uh, the um, things that I have to put in and I just want to try it out so I would just do uh, x uh, let me press F3 before I do this so um, I want to try to copy a part of this village and therefore I do slash clone uh, x should be 170 y should be uh, 60 and z should be um, 270 then the x2 I want to do 200 then 80 and 300 and I guess that the XYZ is now the first corner where it starts so I would try to put in 170 then 100 and 270 and we'll see what it gives us ha huh. it does what I expected it to do it cloned the village upward and that's a so awesome feature cause it's kind of word edit now in the game you don't have to use external stuff like MC Edit anymore. You can just copy your stuff and uh, place it over. And yeah, this is one of my favorite features in today's snapshot. Super awesome. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the last thing that is um, in the Mojang site, uh, which is a fill command and you can see it also gives us um, the things we have to put in and I don't know really what uh, the old block handling and the data tag is but we will just try now to do slash fill 170 60 270 and then uh, 280 um, it was 300 and then let's try May I guess 155 was uh, quartz so let's try this uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now I'm just trying out quartz 1 and 
too many blocks in the specific uh, specified area so let's try 70 uh, no we need to go further down so we have less blocks so it can't handle too many okay we can't see that so let's do 80 here instead again and then 70 uh, yeah, 77 and we have a quartz uh, chiseled I guess it is chiseled isn't it um, area here just filled in and that's it completely blows my mind I have to say uh, that they implemented that into the game it makes me super happy I hope it makes you happy too and yeah we have to play around with uh, this new features a bit more I think but uh, yeah this will give you a small impression of what you can do now in Minecraft in the new snapshot in the new version so if you have something that you want to point out, if you have something to ask, if you have something that you want to share with others, please leave it in the comments. I'll be there too and I will see you in the next video.